Hello, Skylar Spencer back again for another episode of Fishing Basics. Uh, today we're going to cover the uh, some of the fishing laws that are in the areas. Um, a lot of these are not only statewide but nationwide, uh, especially uh, like some of the more illegal practices which we'll go over. Stupid airplanes. Just ruined my last footage. First thing I want to say, again, is that if you are fishing without a fishing license, you are fishing illegally. Uh, well, if you're on public property, you are fishing illegally. There are some events that will specifically state that you do not need a fishing license. Uh, if you're under the age of 16, you do not need a fishing license. And if you are on private property, as in it is somebody's pond. It is a person's pond, not belonging to a park, not belonging to the state, not on public property. It is in their yard. Another thing is there are illegal ways to actually fish. Um, again, if it's private property, these are at the discretion of the uh, landowner, but at a park or anything, there are some uh, methods of fishing that are illegal. Now there are two places that you can find this information. Uh, the first off being the state's uh, state website or a lot of places will have the state rules and regulations. Uh, those come first and then next is the actual park regulations and I got this from the uh, boathouse that I showed uh, in one of my other episodes um, and it has a whole list of things that are not uh, that are both in the state regulations and the park regulations and I'm going to go over a couple of them uh, that are in the state regulations and then a couple that are specifically for this lake that vary from place to place but it's things that you need to look out for. One of the biggest things that I've actually seen people using is called a trout line uh, or bush line. It's uh, basically a line that uh, is hooked up to two different spots and it has a whole bunch of hooks on it and you just set it there and you leave it there and then you come back later, reel it in, and you probably got a fish on each one. Um, that's inhumane. Uh, I know you were talking about fish here, but still, fish are friends, not food. <laughs> uh, I'm specifically a catcher and leash, so I don't, I don't keep any of the fish. I do it for the fun of it. Um, but this is, uh, it's cheating because you're not actually fishing. You're just taking the fish out. You're not getting any enjoyment out of it. Um, another one that kind of goes along with it is called jug fishing. It's where... I'm not going to explain exactly how to do it because I'm not condoning it whatsoever. But it's basically you take a milk jug, you tie a bunch of lines to it, you throw it out in the water, and the same thing, you leave it, and then come back later, bring it in. Um, it's illegal. There are things called uh, bank poles, bank lines, uh, yo-yos. Um, I've heard them called different things. But uh, some places are, it is actually legal to use. Um, I believe Missouri it's legal uh, to use a thing called a yo-yo. Uh, not so much the bank poles, uh, which is where basically you put out a line and leave it there for a while. Um, a yo-yo is like a, uh, an automatic reel that uh, the second, like you put it out and you attach it to a tree and then a fish will like grab onto it and by it pulling on the line it'll automatically, uh, the, the reel part that's attached to the tree out of the water will start reeling it back in and uh, it might not bring it all the way back in but it'll definitely tire the fish out. Again, inhumane. I mean, you're, you're not even getting any enjoyment out of it. You're just taking a fish out of the water. Net fishing is also illegal in a lot of places, uh, Illinois being one of them. Uh, there are a few exceptions, though. Uh, you have to have a specific size net, like it can't be over a certain size. And you have to be going for bait fish, such as like minnows or shad or crawfish. That has to be what you're going for. You're not going for the big guys, you're going for bait. Bow fishing, um, I used to think that bow fishing you needed a special license for, it turns out you don't. All you need is, uh, well, a bow, <laughs> and uh, you need to be outside of deer hunting season, a bow deer hunting season, and you can only go after certain types of fish. Uh, a couple examples are like um, the Asian carp, uh, I'll, I'll talk about specifically the Asian carp later on in a different video too. Um, but other types of carp, uh, a couple gar, there are, <laughs> I rhymed. But yeah, there's really only certain ones that you can do. I'm not going to go over the whole list because this isn't about bow fishing. This is just about laws. 
Now, say you go out and you have your fishing license now. Uh, the uh, maximum amount of poles that you can have for like per person is two. And then on each of those poles, you can have no more than two hooks. Now, the two hooks per doesn't mean like this. This is considered one hook, right? Because it's all attached to one. What it's talking about is something like a kind of like the trout line was, only, um, only having two hooks on it and it's attached to your pole. You know, it's like so you have one here, and then somewhere later on you have a break off to where you have another line coming off, and then that can also have a hook on it. You cannot have a, a whole line that has nothing but hooks coming off of it. That would be illegal. Another thing that was in the pamphlet and something that you should really look into the next time that you're going to a fishing hole or just you're the first time you're going to a fishing hole is get a pamphlet because there are certain places there that you can't fish. Uh, how I was talking about where fish like to spawn. Uh, some places don't allow you to, to fish in known spawning areas. Um, where uh, the pamphlet that I have for this place, there's a spillway that comes out uh, and you cannot use net fishing to catch minnows or any other bait fish outside on the opposite side of the spillway um, Where it could be legal inside and you'd be fine the second you go out there and do it you're breaking the law So uh, make sure you read each of the rules Before you start fishing because you just don't want to get arrested For fishing when I was doing some research for this. I saw a lot of people were asking what kind of trouble can you get into for not having a fishing license and you're caught fishing? And it's like, well, I can guarantee you that you're gonna have to pay more money than what the license is. I mean, I got my fishing license for $15 and what I did was I went on to the, my state's uh, wildlife website, typed in the search bar, fishing license, and it came up to where I'd literally just fill out the information right there at home on my computer and printed it out from my laptop. Uh, charged it to my debit card and it was done. It was $15. Uh, whereas if you get caught uh, fishing without a license, depending on uh, how other, if you're breaking any other laws, if you're not getting a fishing license, then chances are you're doing something else that's stupid too. Uh, but you can uh, get upwards to 100 to 200. Uh, I've actually even heard of people having to do community service and uh, in extreme cases jail time because technically they can hit you with poaching. I mean this is a fishing license right here that I printed off. I'm blocking off this top part because that has my personal information on it. I don't want anybody coming to where I live. Um, I lied it was $16.39. Uh, let's see it'll say right here. I have a 400 class residential fishing license. Uh, you can get like a uh, commercial to where you can do different types of fishing. That's only special. This is the only one that you'll really need. Um, certain types of fish require a special license. That's something else you want to look into. Um, you can also get like your your uh, your hunting stuff on here. I'm not a hunter, so I'm not going up for any uh, waterfowl or anything. And then. Uh, there's a spot up here for your hunter's license number also, so it can just be an all-in-one. But, I mean, this is this is what is keeping you from uh, illegally fishing and getting a charge to $16.39 and being good for a year. So, so there was a couple laws that I didn't go over intentionally, uh, just because they're almost laws that you'd have to know about in order to break them, such as uh, different methods of illegal fishing. As I said, I'm not going to... Um, tell you you can or can't do it. I just kind of throw those those two out, the trout line and the jug fishing because I've seen somebody jug fish and they didn't know that it was illegal and I've seen trout lines that I automatically, I didn't even have to know it was a law. I was like, man, that doesn't seem right. Um, but the rest of them, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how to do them. Uh, I just kind of give you the two that are, are more common. So if you see somebody doing it or somebody suggests it, you know that it's wrong. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Skyler with Fishing Basics going over fishing laws. I hope you learned something and I hope I can save you money by not getting arrested. Have a good one. I think I'm lost.